I can like barely hold it out there. Killer Clan, welcome back to Giant Foods. And I had a lot of suggestions this week, but one stood out. Everybody loves breakfast, right? Well, I'm no exception, I love breakfast. So we're gonna do an eight pound bacon, egg and cheese biscuit. Mickey D's style, killer style. Let's go put this thing together. Two pounds of biscuits. Is this thing all screwed up? Ah, it failed. The jumbos. The jumbos. So, eight of these biscuits together. We got seven around the outside. Yeah, it's gonna make pretty solid top a top biscuit. I'm just trying to like knead it together to make one big one big yeah. one. Especially when it expands, right? Yeah. That'll get pretty huge. <laughs> what are you guys gonna make me? Let me try it. Then, we'll do, then we'll do the other. So, two of those going in. Huge portion of eggs going in. Remind me to grab that with yeah. Alright, so we got the bacon on, we got the eggs and the biscuits in here, and then we'll add the cheese at the end. But I'm gonna go check on the bacon because if you remember the 25,000 subscriber special, I burnt the bacon. Well, I think it's done anyway. Yeah. That's, That's gross. That's gross. <laughs> you really are disgusting. You know what? I would eat the fat off the steak if it grew hair too. Alright, we got it up on the top burner now, so... Ooh, right there, that's Not enough. That bacon. That's enough. Three <laughs> pounds of bacon. Twelve slices of cheese here to go on the bottom biscuit. Now my bottom biscuit kind of... kind of got a little on me, but... See what I'm getting at though. Cheesy. Cheesy. It ain't easy being cheesy. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna layer on some bacon and then put the eggs, then bacon and cheese again. Because, why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Because bacon is delicious. It's gonna be a Pretty massive sandwich there. Yeah, it is. It's gonna be big. It's gonna be huge. <laughs> what do you got that's gonna what be massive? What are you guys massive? gonna make me as? I'm just trying to get huge. So the egg's got a few minutes left, and then, but I figured I'd put that on there now because then it would cool down a little bit. Because it's probably freaking piping hot, right? And melt the cheese. And melt, exactly. Melt the cheese because. But just look at that. Look at it! Our 12 egg concoction here. You need a bigger plate. I think I do. This thing didn't get near, but definitely uh, falling off, falling off on me, isn't it? It's because it's huge. What is this huge? Well, it's gigantic foods, Mr. Cool. There it is. I think the next time I try to make something bacon, egg, and cheese or breakfast oriented, I'm definitely going to change my cooking style. Like flat top. I need to invest in a flat top. Mm -hmm. It'd make things easier. It would definitely make things easier. 
We got some more cheese to go on there and get melty. This cheese is delicious. <clears throat> and of course, more bacon. This is how McDonald's should make it. That's how it should be. Like that. Same. That's a sandwich. Okay, the clan. So as you can see in front of me, me and Mr. Poole went ahead and constructed the largest bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit I've ever seen. This thing weighs like eight pounds. It is actually pretty epic. The only thing I wish I would have changed is taking the biscuits and actually balling them into one and making a new biscuit. I kind of left them to get. It kind of let them mold together. It worked. Kind of worked. But as you can see, I got two pounds of biscuits, three pounds of bacon, twelve eggs, some milk, pepper and 12 slices of cheese. It is massive. I'm gonna go ahead and let this thing cool down a little bit. And a good way to cool down is to go ahead and go over to thecoldestwater.com, get yourself one of these cool jugs, 21 ounces up to a gallon, use my promo code below, get yourself a little bit of a discount, kick some back killer's way. So let's get into this channel. Move the timer over there, that way you can actually see the thing. So I went ahead and moved the timer over here to my, my left, your right, because then you can actually see it. Most people say, your head's in the way of the timer. It's no longer in the way of the timer. It's over there. So my head, nowhere even any close. But without further ado, the eight pound bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit. Three, two, one. Breakfast time. At 725 at night <laughs> now I don't know necessarily if I can I I definitely can't pick this thing up and it didn't work I do have some maple syrup over here and some ketchup this isn't sugar-free not keeping the calories down. I do got some water over here to help me keep the calories down but I definitely got some biscuits and what better on biscuits than syrup I mean, syrup's delicious. These are totally knockoff Grand's biscuits. <sighs> I have no idea how many calories is in this thing. I can try to figure it out. I'm saying three pounds of bacon alone. Uh, Six thousand. <laughs> Look at that. That's where it's at. Biscuits are just done. <clears throat> they're they're actually they're actually perfect on the bottom there. They look dark, but they don't taste burnt. They're just like I don't know. I don't know how you would describe it. I don't know, just right as far as I'm concerned. I think it's delicious. Comment below what your favorite breakfast sandwich is. Comment below if you want to see another big breakfast sandwich. I can do a bunch of different variations of this thing. Try to figure out how to make like a big bagel. <laughs> You're drinking the wrong water. <clears throat> you know what? I couldn't agree more. You are drinking the wrong water. You should be drinking the water out of thecoldestwater.com. <clears throat> I definitely think these biscuits are better with syrup on them than they're ketchup though. 
Maybe I should have got some butter. You can't really go wrong though. There's 16 biscuits on this. To make two big buns. We're about six minutes in, I got the first layer down. We're into the eggs and the first layer of cheese. I mean, look at that. That's where it's at right there. This looks like the molten lava level. It is hot. Is pool getting phone call? Probably throw over him. girlfriend called during the making this and he told her that he was warming up the meat. I think she was thinking the wrong thing. It's actually the bacon. Me and Mr. Poole were just talking about the Dubois Diner and their awesome challenges and the fact that Michelle, one of the best waitresses up there and the cooker of the best pies and cakes you've ever had. Her last day is Friday. <coughs> so shout out to Michelle at the Dubois Diner. Starting to sweat like normal with all these home challenges because they're blistering hot when I start them. I don't learn my lesson. This month gave drink out of it. Ice cold, listen to that. No ice in there for 24 hours. Oh yeah, that night, the night I, record, I recorded a video one time, Andy Poole broke the pancake record at the Dubois Diner, so I did it right after him and uh, broke the record again, and my cam camera didn't record. I ran out of memory on my card. So then I had to go back and do it again, and it was bigger. That's me. All right, about 15 and a half minutes ish for an eight pound. <coughs> oh, wow. I feel like I have it all over my face. An eight pound bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit. Mickey Dawn style, killer style. I don't know, it was big. 16 biscuits and three pounds of bacon, and 12 eggs, milk, 
12 slices of cheese. It's delicious, I don't know. Quarter bottle of syrup. <laughs> if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at the Killer Kennedy. Remember to jump over to thecoldestwater.com, grab yourself one of these bottles, use my promo code below, save yourself a couple bucks. Kick me back a couple bucks. Like I said, the offer to let somebody buy me a flat top, it's open. I mean, I'm not gonna stop you. But if you love these videos, these giant creations, keep the info coming below because I'm using them. I got this out of the comment section. And I continue to use the comment selection because you guys have really good ideas. Usually better than my own. If you want a Killer Kennedy decal or a t-shirt, PayPal Kennedy Collision at gmail.com. Include your size and your address. Medium through 2X. And I'll get that right out to you. So until next time. Eat a giant sandwich and take it easy.